Hello there, this is Nathan Cox coming to you with another Handyman Minute. Today I'm going to address some simple issues you can adjust yourself on a common everyday toilet. Alright, we come down here to the toilet. Now if you have a house that has original toilets still in it and it's been built the last decade or so, good chance they're going to be one of these crane plumbing toilets. Not a bad little toilet, but nothing great. On the inside, you're going to see all the old common parts that we're used to. Over here you have the old ball cock fill valve. They call it the ball cock obviously because of the big ball on the end. Now if you go to replace one of those, you can still buy these at the hardware, the local hardware store. Uh, but I do suggest you buy one of the more modern units that don't use the ball cock, that have a um, slide just straight up and down or, or something else similar to that. They work a lot smoother. Anyways, but back to that, there's the fill valve. All right, this white tube that comes straight up is called the overflow tube. It keeps it in case the water is going too high in here so it doesn't just overflow onto the ground. Obviously named there. Uh, down there, that white little circle right there attached to the overflow tube is the flapper. I know all of us have heard it, but that's what one actually looks like. Okay, now a lot of these toilets, when they're installed, uh, they're installed very quickly and they're not the installer does not take time to actually adjust any of the settings. This red screw, this little red plastic screw on top here, adjusts the height setting of the ball cock. Okay? If you see right there on the overflow tube, right there where I'm pointing, there's two black lines. Um, and those are the fill lines for the, the toilet. And a lot of times when these are put in and they're started up for the first time, the installer walks away and the water actually sits right along the edge of the very top of the fill tube. A lot of times it just barely goes over. Uh, so if you think your toilet, you hear your toilet starting and, and flushing by itself, that's the first thing to check is, is the water sitting at the very top of that ring. Um, now, for those of you who are always worried about their utility bills, uh, don't sit there and try to crank this down so you have the least amount of water in the tank possible. You're only going to hurt yourself by doing that because you end up having to flush a toilet twice to flush down, you know, what you need to flush down. <laughs> and uh, that's not going to save any water if you have to flush it twice instead of just flushing it once. So you really want to have as much water in here as you can. All these toilets are already regulated at the 1.6 gallons per flush. Uh, so they don't hold that much water anyways. Uh, but this little red screw here can be turned by hand if you can get a good enough grip on it because there's little notches on the side. Or as you can see with a straight a standard straight screwdriver and every time you make a small adjust to, adjustment to it only turn it about a half of a turn uh, per try and then go and flush the toilet and see where the water stops at now if your water level is already in the proper place but your toilet still flushes itself the next most common culprit is going to be the flapper itself and if you can stick your ear down into where the little overflow tube is, stick it close by there and you hear just a tiny little bit of trickle of water, you're probably hearing the water seep past the flapper and into the tube because that tube is connected to where the water goes through into the, the lower bowl. Um, so flappers are very common to purchase. They cost just a few dollars at the local hardware store and they're very easy to change out on your own. Um, if you're having problems with the toilet not filling up, um, or running even though it's already at the stopping point but it's still trying to fill up uh, then your fill valve here has gone bad and if you live in the Ozarks you know about our hard water and that happens quite frequently is the water deposits get stuck in there and these things just they just they can't operate anymore um, you know a common you know fill valve is going to cost you less than ten dollars at a local hardware store um, and you can just fill follow the directions uh, on the box all right, so I hope I helped some of you out there in uh, taking care of these simple problems that you can fix on every day. Thank you again, and until next time.